Oh, hey, uh, number six. Let's get to know Paris Hilton's husband. All right. I've been, I've been wanting to get to this for a while. Yeah. And yeah. we've just had other stories that have been getting in the way. Uh, his name is Carter <laughs> Ryu. Ooh, wow. Um, and he was born in Wayne, Illinois. What do you know? Uh, the husband of the Hilton heiress is a graduate of Glen Bard South High School. He ah. played soccer there, and he graduated back in 1999. After that, he launched Vive Spirits with his brother, and the rest is happily ever after wow. in the making. And we're going to keep saying nice things because he probably has family in the area yeah. still, and there's a good chance some of them watch this show. Well, so God bless him. Even still, good for him. Yeah. All right, number five. Uh, men, the weather is heating up. It's time to free your feet from sneaker prison. No, it is not. There's a trusty old Birkenstock, uh, which recently got a revamp using foam instead of the traditional leisure and cork combo. Or how about the flip-flop? But make your podiatrist happy, too. These puppies have memory foam soles with arch support. Or go for the futuristic look. Adidas and Yeezy paired up with some slides that consistently sell out. A lot of options for you, gents. Yeah. Hmm. No, thanks. Number four, it's a career that isn't typically talked about, the mortician. They're yeah. important, but did you know that name was actually invented as part of a PR campaign by the funeral industry? They felt it was a bit more customer friendly than Undertaker. The term was picked after a call for ideas uh, from Embalmers Monthly. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. that's a good read. Oh, that's a good one. Great, great. Sometimes yeah. it can be a little dry, but sometimes they add some fun <laughs> stories in there. Uh, number three, bacon. It's not just for breakfast. It's for making bombs, too, apparently. Hmm. During World War II, the American Fat Salvage Committee oh. was created to urge housewives to save all the excess fat rendered from cooking huh. and donate it to the Army to produce explosives. <laughs> oh, wow. Fats are used to make glycerin, and glycerin is used to make things blow up. One pound of fat supposedly contained enough glycerin to make about a pound of explosives. The move got the women involved in the war effort and helped the men on the front lines. Yeah. All right. Tell yeah, us sure. out, ladies. Get in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number two, banning grass. Not the, that kind of grass. The green kind that you should have mowed by now. Oh, I'm not so, so it is that kind of yeah, grass. That I kind thought, of no, so they were talking about the, you know. Lawn yeah. grass. Yeah. <laughs> Nevada made lawn grass illegal. It's the first law of its kind in the nation. Vegas just flagged 5,000 acres for replacement. The Southern Nevada Water Authority hopes the move will save up to 9.5 billion gallons of water per year. What do you so, plant in the front lawn instead then? Dirt, fake mm. grass. Rocks. Or rock yeah. garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Mold. Yeah. Um, number one, there's a home for sale in Cleveland for $162,000, and it has a selling feature for those who love a good dinosaur movie. Along with three bedrooms and three bathrooms, the home also has a dinosaur statue in the front yard, along with a giraffe and a gomphotheer. Oh, yeah. What the heck yeah. is that? Oh, come on, Larry. It looks like there. an elephant, like You don't Larry. know what a gomphotheer is. I was absent that day in eighth yeah. grade when we were studying all that stuff. It's not part of the elephant family. Uh, there's also a few other animal statues in the backyard, too. It just kind of looks yeah, that way. Yeah, look at this. There it is. Wow. All right. There I mean, it was. It's a six at six. Yep. Temperatures this morning are into the upper